So hello everyone, my name is Jason Bernard Petra, and today I will going to present my paper with the title of Small Medium Pressure Patient Apparel in Retail Industry on Surviving the Psychographic Limitations by Using Intelligence Marketing Strategy, or as we know, IMS. This paper was written by me, myself, Jason Bryan, and my co-writer, Sir Heidi Jono. So what we're going to discuss uh, in these presentations uh, support the research paper, of course, and then the research problems and the questions, uh, following with the research purpose and objectives. Also, the last one was the research methodology. So, uh, why did I choose this topic? It's because the fast size of the market, the Indonesian uh, fashion sector offers a potential uh, a opportunity for new entrants. The fashion business must always uh, cater to the mass of consumers because the increase in demand was always increasing and the fashion industry is based in fast fashion industry and with a high level of demand that we cannot forecast due to the range of the styles and customers preferences it creates segments in the market the strategy of patient firms is one of the most important things that I've seen, and it's really crucial for companies to take decisions based on strategy or plans that they created. And uh, the strategic marketing itself that I found the most crucial thing, and it creates or makes companies recognize that it's been an issue for them. So uh, the fashion industry itself uh, was one of the most other industries that really being a uh, need for human because we need clothes and etc. That's why the fashion industry was never being died for. And that is why I wanted to discuss and open up this study because I wanted to learn more and provide an answer. So it came up with the research problems and questions. So what is our problem or issue here? It's because the retailers are starting to blow up. It's not just start from the upper level or giant companies, but right now the most of retailers are from household sector. It starts from household itself and then individual or maybe personal business. They wanted to create a semi-corporate businesses or enterprises by their own uh, set of plans. Some of those actually were successful by uh, and fulfilling their goals and visions and achieving fixed positions as successful with others. But back again, the main issue here was that people are not only facing the competition in the market, but the market itself uh, by their own side, it creates some segmentation in the market. As you know, there are demographic, etc. But what we are gonna discuss now in this paper and stated on my title, it was the psychographic segmentations. Why? Because the psychographic segmentations are really hard to see because it's based on what consumers need and what consumers wanted. And it always changes in over time. And it could be forecast or be foreseen in maybe months or years, but we actually couldn't know the exact trends that exist in the meantime or tomorrow. So like, uh, that is why site traffic was really problematic. It's not because the segmentation itself, because we need a set of real plans to anticipate the segmentations. So uh, it follow up with the questions appear in the paper. The question here was, what is the most effective strategies that could be implemented in companies. 
because of the existing material segmentations or fashion for fashion was too diverse or too fast for retailers needed to have the closer the segmentations uh, itself was hard <clears throat> hard to be recognized and by using psychographic segment uh, segmentation it could be seen however the human personality dynamics as well as the consumer profile cannot provide too many distinguished characteristics. The retailers needed strategy to overcome the expected outcome from the market. And the main answer that we can, uh, I can provide was the IMS because the intelligence marketing was uh, an effective tool for companies to uh, take a use. Because IMS itself, it's talking about the external internal data that every company has. And if the company could uh, use the, their own data so they can actually create a planning stage or the good forecast about what should they do next. And after that, we come up with the research object objectives. The first one was the research purposes. So this paper will obtain variables from uh, looking up small medium enterprises running in Indonesia. Why choosing Indonesia? It's because the place was ample enough to be seen as emerging market because Indonesia have a lot of cities that uh, starting pop-uping businesses and they we, there we can see small medium enterprises being source of uh, this paper. So what is the benefits of the study? This paper was purposely being helpful for guidance for the emerging fashion retailers, especially small medium. Or uh, we, uh, I wanted to provide them the information or the knowledge for them to survive in the market cycles and to know to show them that there's some strategies that could be implemented by them based on uh, how people uh, that already survive in the market do. As being so, this paper will provide information around the fashion retail also, because uh, what we gonna give to them was not just information about fashion retail, no. We wanted to give in-depth inform in information, a specific one. And so the literature review. The literature review uh, here was, of course, the strategy marketing because it was being a fund foundation for a uh, strategic marketing. And then the next one, after we know about strategic marketing, we knew about, we should know about fashion of our industry because the industry, uh, fashion apparel it's industry itself, we, what we're going to discuss and what we're going to enter more and more. <laughs> and the next one with the market sector segmentations. There's a lot of segmentations that exist right now, and we need to know at least the basic of it. And after we know the market segmentation, we should uh, have in depth uh, explanations about the psychographic segmentations of fashion industry because. Here we're going to discuss about the trends that exist now or what should uh, we do about the trends. And then the intelligence marketing strategy. The last year was the main tools that uh, companies should use. Uh, the key point here was if we knew about all of the above, we could create a external internal data based on what we knew and what we had. And so for the research method, this research will kind of uh, use the qualitative research approach, which uh, the data collection or how this paper is going to gather the data was you by conducting an in-depth interview by observations. So the observation unit of course will be the CEO or founder because we aim at small medium enterprises that's, but the majority of small medium enterprises was owned and 
being take control by the CEO, which makes the CEO have the uh, authority for commanding and changing something in the businesses. And then after the CEO, we, uh, we're going uh, we to interview the employee or business partners because the employee was the source of regulation, of course. And then the business partner, the business partner was the second brain of the CEO. So the CEO, employee, and business partner are the main role here, not just the CEO. No, the employee also, because the employee was the person who uh, take the work there and they knew what was going on. And then for the analysis in the unit, we're going to use the patient retail that have the similar structure, which have the observation unit. We want to look for uh, retailers that owned by one person or some person, but that uh, owner has the authority for controlling the unit. That's why uh, the similar structure was the hierarchy in the business. And the data analysis, we use triangulation of data source. The triangulation here, we can uh, uh, make sure and ensure that the in-depth interview was uh, based on the data that they have. The thing here was because of IMS talking about external and internal data, and it was calculated. So after the in-depth interview, we were gonna ask for if they wanted to give the internal and external data. So if it was mismatch, uh, it was matched between the interview and the data. So it was proven it is valid or it is true. If we couldn't approach the internal and external data, most of the retailers are always have social media. And based on social media itself, we could know, or social media or e-commerce, we could know, and we could uh, take a triangulation step and validating the interview and the data we, that we could have. So what is the conclusion? The policy study that will be conducted will discussing about the interactive marketing strategy, is useful set of strategy to overcome psychographic segmentations by proving the stated hypothesis by conducting in-depth interview. By using retailers that takes place in Indonesia, the result will be expected as helpful or guide for small to medium-sized patient retailers in order to, for them to survive and know what kind of strategy that they needed to implement. As a result, this paper will contain information about patient retail. So that's all from me. Thank you for your time.